So, we're going to hear now from African Design Centers. That's Christian Benimana. He is an architect with mass design, and he wants to revolutionize the continent, the African continent, that is, with African Design Centers. His dream is to create the first generation of human-centered African designs. In my mind, it's a leap back to the African designs, the prehistoric African designs of the Swahili culture, the Zimbabwe culture, the Burkina Faso, and Ogwagadugu cultures where great cities were built. That's what he wants to do, create African cities for African people. So over to you, Christiana. Thank you. The slides are not going. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I'm an African architect educated in China. Why China? Because my country didn't have a school of architecture until 2008. Plus, how many other African architects do you know? <coughs> That's right. Italy alone. It's not clicking. Italy alone is estimated to have four times the number of architects the entire continent of Africa has. So to become one of the architects, I had to study abroad on a scholarship. The amount of transformation I saw in China was it incredible, but it also saw serious problems. Like, like some of, I'm sorry, I'm having troubles with uh, the clicker. It's not going fast enough. Yeah, we've experienced some um, a massive displacement of population and some pollution as well in China. My country, Rwanda, is going through a building boom too. Cities are changing, and they're changing fast to accommodate this new development. The problem is there is little local knowledge to avoid the, the challenges I saw with China's uh, fast development. Fortunately, uh, in my work at Mass Design Group, we have a philosophy. We believe architecture must have a transcendent idea that instills dignity. I had joined Mass Design Group to design uh, a hospital, Butaro Hospital in rural Rwanda. This hospital was designed to have maximum impact it was designed to employ over 4,000 local people to build it, and build it using all local materials. But it was also designed from a patient's perspective. Instead of, oh, my slides are not going, I'm sorry. Instead of uh, patients looking at a, full, at a room full of other sick people, they have a view to the outside, um, they have a window and a view to the outside landscape. This hospital makes, people healthier, it's good for the environment, and brings dignity to this community. I'm sure this impact-based human-centered design approach is the only way we're going to save African built environment. Because think about it, Africa's urban population is going to reach 1.2 uh, I'm, I'm, 1 billion by 2050. We have to create uh, the first generations of human-centered African designers to build Africa of the future. Why? Because my country is the fastest, most densely populated in Africa. It needs the first generation to help design and build, uh, to help design and build uh, intelligently. They estimated almost 100,000 housing units we need per year for the next five years to house, uh, to house our, our urban population by 2020. So this generation will harness the talent and spirit that is uniquely African and build uh, and provide adequate solutions. Because if we don't, we're going to see worsened environmental degradation, we're going to see uh, worsened in, uh, economic inequalities, and we're going to see public health disasters far worse than the recent Ebola outbreak. To have a community, of a whole community of human-centered African designers, the African design centers are the solution. They're going to build this creative leadership by, cre by selecting the most promising uh, graduates and offer them a real project fellowship intensively for two years. With the commitments and partnerships that allows for a 10-year plan, we can, we can graduate 2,500 graduates, um, employ and train over 200,000 people, and create over 10 million value-added jobs. Time is now to create, to make, us, to, make, to make decisions to build cities and improved communities where economic, social, and uh, environmental opportunities exist for all. Thank you very much.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Christian. Thank you, that was great, thanks a lot. So there you are, back to the future. The next person we're gonna hear, oh, and by the way, that's goal, sustainable goal number nine. Okay. <laughs> giving a quiz. Yes, yeah, we have to give the quizzes as we go along. 